and that's a piece of uh, writing by uh, William Shakespeare. He wrote a play 400 years ago or more uh, called Sir Thomas More. Now he wrote it with other people. But the speech I'm going to do, he definitely wrote, and I can tell you why, it's in his handwriting, and you can see it in the British Museum. It's the only example of a manuscript of his work that we've got. And this speech is about what we've been talking about today. Uh, that's why I wanted to do it for you. The situation is, <coughs> is that there's a crowd out in um, St. Martin's in the field. Trafalgar Square, you know, where Michael was built. And there's a crowd out the street, and they are complaining about the strangers in their midst. Now, the strangers, from well, everybody is different. And immigrants, of course, some of them with a different religion, a different culture, a different colored skin, maybe a different sexuality something not quite normal. And the cry from the crowd is that the strangers should be sent back wherever they came from, that they should be removed. And Thomas More is sent out by the authorities, by the king, to put down uh, the riot, and he does it in two ways, by saying that uh, an assembly of the sort they have is against the law, they're breaking the law, and the other, with an appeal to their humanity, uh, to simply respect other people. So someone says that uh, the strangers should be removed, and Thomas More says, Grant them removed! And grant that this your noise hath ticked down all the majesty of England. Imagine that you see the wretched strangers, their babies at their back, with their poor luggage flooding to the ports and coasts for transportation, and that you sit as kings in your desires, authority quite silenced by your brawl, and you in rough of your opinions clothed. What have you got? I tell you, you have taught how insolence and strong hand should prevail, how order should be quelled. And by this pattern, not one of you should live an aged man, for other ruffians, as their fancies wrought, with self-same hands, self-reason, and self-right, would shark on you. And men like ravenous fishes feed on one another. Oh, desperate as you are, wash your foul minds with tears, and those same hands that you like rebels lift against the peace, lift up for peace and your unreverent knees make them your feet to kneel to be forgiven. You put down strangers, kill them, cut their throats, and lead the majesty of law and lion to slip in like a hand. Say now the king, as he is clement, if the offender would, should so much come too short of your great trespass as not to banish you. Whither would you go? What country, by the nature of your error, should give you harbour, go you to France or Flanders, to any German province, Spain or Portugal, Net, anywhere that not adheres to England? Why, you must meet these strangers. Would you be pleased? To find a nation of such barbarous temper that breaking out in hideous violence would not afford you an abode on earth. Wax their detested knives against your throats. Spurn you like dogs, and like as if the God owned not, nor made not you, nor that the elements were not all appropriate to your comfort, but chartered unto them. What would you sing to be thus used? <coughs> This is the stranger's pen. And this jaw mountainous inhumanity. Oh. <coughs> so William Shakespeare is on the side of this. <laughs>